And joining us now for more is Jeremy Hansen himself, Canadian astronaut and mission specialist for the Artemis II mission. Jeremy, good morning to you and congratulations. Oh, good morning. Thank you very much for that. Well, Jeremy, you know, it's such an exciting moment for all of us, but especially for you. You, though, have known for a couple of weeks that you would be part of this crew. How did you feel when you found out? Uh, super excited and uh, definitely humbled by the opportunity and you know, proud of uh, Canada's accomplishments for getting us to this point where we are bringing so much value to this international partnership that we've been invited to be on the first mission to return to the moon. You know, only, only the second country to have um, a human or have a person fly beyond low Earth orbit. I think that's extraordinary for Canada. I hope other Canadians are as proud as I am of the country. Oh, we definitely are, Jeremy. And to have you representing us is definitely something that we all look forward to. Uh, this is such a big moment in history. There hasn't been humans near the moon in more than half a century. So did you have to keep this a secret from your own family? I was able to tell them uh, two weeks ago. I had to swear them to secrecy. <laughs> Uh, and there, my kids are old enough now that they could do that. They did a great job. And so we, we've been keeping it under our hat for a couple of weeks, but certainly super excited within the family. I had a lot of really heartfelt uh, congratulations from my wife and, and kids. And uh, they're just leaning into this mission. They're great supporters. And uh, I, I look forward to sharing this journey with them. So, Jeremy, what's what's it been like? What have you been up to and how have you been preparing for this mission? <laughs> well, the the training uh, in earnest hasn't really started yet. Um, we're always working on, you know, the future program. So, you know, I was definitely watching the Artemis One mission, for example, learning as much as I could from that mission. That was an uncrewed version of this rocket and capsule. And now what has to happen is we've got to dig in and figure out how do we get the humans on board this system? How do we implement the software such that we can do the manual piloting and flying of the capsule? Uh, and there's just a whole lot of other systems we need to work on to support life out in deep space. And so that's going to be some really exciting work for me. I'll be joining a huge team of people, both here at NASA uh, and at the Canadian Space Agency. And we'll be getting ready for this, like you said, this historic mission to send humans back to the moon. It's been over 50 years. And this time, Canada is going to be part of that. I'm so happy and so proud. Jeremy, you know, we actually have something in common, and it's the fact that as children, we both had encyclopedias. The only difference is you actually read yours, <laughs> and that sparked your interest in space. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that dream and the fact that you're realizing it now. Yeah, it's kind of neat to think back. And I don't know if I was reading it back then so much as just looking at the pictures. But, um, you know, I was in that Encyclopedia A a lot, looking at airplanes. I was just so fascinated by airplanes. And then I happened across Neil Armstrong. And there's a photo there of Neil or Buzz, one of them standing on the on the moon. And it is like burnt in my memory. It just changed my perspective. I thought, wow, humans can go to the moon. That's crazy. Turn my treehouse into a spaceship. Uh, I had dials and controls and gauges, circuit breakers for switches, whatever I could find on the farm. And I was going on space missions. And, you know, when I look back at that, I set a goal. And then I was telling people about it. I told my parents along the way, told teachers, other mentors. And those are the people that helped, you know, guide me through life and get over the challenges and help me believe that it was actually possible. And all these years later, I am following that dream, flying uh, out to the moon. And Jeremy, just finally here, what are you hoping that this mission accomplishes, not just for your team, but for everyone who's going to be watching? Yeah, we, we have all the technical stuff to do. We have to buy down risk for the future lunar landings, you know, the Artemis 3 and 4 and 5 missions. Uh, there's a lot of important work to do there. But the most important aspect for me is that it, it changes people's perspective on the planet. We have big global problems. My kids talk about it a lot. Our youth are worried about it. We need global solutions for global problems. And space has just been an extraordinary example of how it's not necessarily easier to collaborate and work together, but once you can get over that hurdle of working together, you can do so much more. And I really felt like Canada was highlighted in a huge way yesterday with our, by our American partners here. I thought that was extraordinary American space leadership, but it really was a tribute to Canada. It's, it was saying, look, if you can bring real value, which we can, uh, we can do some great things together. Bravo, Canada. All right. Well, Jeremy Hansen will be the first Canadian in deep space. We are all so proud of you. We were all looking forward to your mission and watching you every step of the way. Thank you so much for joining us today.
Yeah, thanks for having me. Hope to chat again. Take care. For sure. You too.